The last part of this question 2 point or question 2 is question 2.2.4. Okay, it says, and this is very important, read it carefully. How many consecutive differences were added to the first term of the quadratic number pattern to obtain a term in the quadratic number pattern that has a value of 21,060. Now folks, that is for four marks. So yes, we've got to read it twice. Okay, so you make sure, do I want a TN or a SN? This is the big thing. Is this a term number I want or am I going to work with a term? Or am I going to work with the sum of the terms? Well, they says how many consecutive differences. So I know that I need to know the number of Ds that were added to the first term in the sequence. Okay, so I'm actually looking here for the value of D. How many consecutive differences were added to the first term? Okay, to obtain a quadru in this number pattern, to obtain a term in this pattern that has a value of that. So they told us TN is 21060. And we're looking at how many of these terms or, or, or of these differences were added. Folks, please remember they are not asking us for N because that would have meant how uh, the, if the question was to find the N value, they would have said um, which term number um, is, is uh, 2 one zero six zero we are going to find n most probably but we need to remember that we're zooming in on the differences and to remind you it is going to be tn which is a plus look at this n minus one d there's n minus one differences added okay folks so we are going to go back to the general term of that quadratic sequence we found in the beginning. That gives us 6n squared minus 9n. And they told us that this is equal to 21060. And that's the equation that we need to solve. If we look carefully, we can see everything here is definitely divisible by 3. The 60 is divisible by 3, it leaves us with 20, and the 21,000 will leave us with 7,000. So if I divide everything by 3, I get 2n squared minus 3n, which is equal to 7020. Okay, so now I need this into standard form, 2n squared minus 3n minus 7020. To zero, and this is the equation that I need to factorize. Okay, now folks, you can see this number is ugly. The seven o two o. To find the factors of that number, I can start playing if I want to, and start dividing by two, and then again by two, and then again by two. But I think you pressed for time. So my big tip here is to apply your formula. Let's remind ourselves in the sketchboard about the formula. The formula in this case will be n is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that divided by 2a. Okay, so if I now apply my formula to this, I can say that n is equal to minus b and minus b is 3. Remember, there's a double negative. Plus or minus b squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is 2, and c, which is minus 7020. All of that divided by 2a, 
which is indeed 4. Now at this point you might want to use your calculator. So you get 3 plus or minus the square root of 56169. All of that still divided by 4. Now if you square root that answer, you get 237. So you've got 3 plus or minus 237. All of that divided by 4. Now, folks, that's what you must use to check your term number. Now, look carefully. Your term number must be positive, first of all, okay? because term numbers are natural numbers. So you're only going to use the positive. n is equal to 3 plus 2, 3, 7 divided by 4. And that gives you 240. That is divided by 4, and that leaves you with 60. So if the question watch was, which term number is equal to this 21060, you would have had your answer by now. But that's not the question. Let's remind ourselves by underlining this again. We are saying how many consecutive differences were added. So in our sketch pad, we are looking at the value of n there, and we're wanting n minus 1. So finally, we added n minus 1, which is 59 differences were added. Okay, there we go. To get to the term that was 2, 1, so remember, two takeaways here. Always write down your formulas that apply to the question that you're busy doing. Number one. Number two, folks, use a highlighter extensively to remind yourself of the important stuff that the question is talking about. Okay, folks, that was for the last four marks, question two.